Hi, I'm Tony, and today we're going to make a simple, fast, easy face mask. Uh, I've been getting messages from people that love the other full face mask tutorial I did, but they said it takes way too long. So this one, I'm going to show you how you can make it in just under five minutes. And it has a nose piece, and it's easy to take on and off. Just like that. Let's take a look at our materials. So we have two pieces of cotton. Uh, this is going to be cut depending upon your face size. I have a small face, so I cut this piece about eight and a quarter inches wide by about five and a half inches in length. And I have a chart down below to give you a general idea about the size of the face masks, depending upon what size face you have, whether you have a small, medium, or large face, or even a child's face. And yes, my face is almost a child's face. Uh, so you need two pieces of cotton fabric. You can use old t-shirts, you can use um, any kind of cotton you like. I recommend high quality cotton. Uh, that is quilting cotton. Uh, you do not need a third layer. I know there's some tutorials that say you need a third fleece layer. You don't need that. It just makes it harder to breathe. The point of the face mask is to protect other people and to prevent any droplets coming out of your mouth to go onto other people. This is not meant as a filter mask. This is not an N95. This is only to prevent the spread of any kind of sickness or disease. Um, it is not meant to filter out anything that you are breathing. That being said, uh, two layers of quilting cotton fabric is perfectly fine. It allows you to breathe perfectly fine. So you've got those. Uh, you also have some clips and or pins. And I'll show you why it's an and or when I get there. You also need two pieces of elastic. Down below in the small, medium, large, and child sizes, I also have a recommended size for elastic. But I'll show you, of course, whenever you fit it, um, how it should or should not look depending upon what it is. And you may have to, to bring it in a little bit or shorten your elastic. But you need two pieces of elastic or ties. You also need floral wire. This is what's gonna go in the nose piece. For this, it is important that your wire is waterproof. So this is a waterproof floral wire that I am using that I'm going to recommend and actually have in links down below. And of course you need a pair of scissors to trim all of your threads. And that's all the materials you need. I said this face mask takes about five minutes to make. Of course, the first time you make it, you're gonna have to go a little slow. It's probably gonna take about eight or nine minutes, just because you may wanna start and stop, rewind the video and figure out what you're doing. But once you know how to make this face mask, trust me, you can do it in five minutes. All right, so we have our two layers. I'm going to use this one as my first layer and this one as my top layer. So I've got this one face up. This one is going to go face down. But of course I have to put in my ties or my elastics first. Uh, if you're using ties, just make sure that they meet in the middle right here. If you're using elastic, what you wanna do is put it about a half of an inch down, even three quarters of an inch down is fine. And I am actually going to use pins to hold this in place first. And I will show you why when I get to the next step. And you're gonna take this and make sure it's not going to twist so it's all one length. We're gonna spin this and do the same exact length here. So about three quarters, about a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch. I keep wanting to put my clip in there, but it's not time for the clip. And we're gonna put a pin in there. Okay, now you see how this folds up there? That is perfectly natural, it's perfectly fine. All right, so let's put this side in. So we're going to half inch to three quarters of an inch from the top, put a pin in there. And then we're gonna take this, spin it around down here, a half of an inch 
to three quarters of an inch from the top and put a pin in it. And again, it's going to bunch up. That is perfectly fine. All right, so let's take our second piece of fabric face down. So this is right side to right side. Look, I've learned my lesson and I've shown you two fabrics that are easy to distinguish the right sides and the wrong sides. All right, so once you have this, line it up in the corner, put your thumb and your finger holding this together, pull your pin out, and now put your clip on. If you use a clip, it's a little harder to do that with. Um, the pin just makes it a lot easier to do. So same thing, we're going to line up the corners here. I'm not gonna worry about this gap because that is caused by the elastic. I'm putting my thumb and my forefinger, pulling my pin, and then placing the clip. Now you see how it may lay a little bit nicer right now? That is an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do this side. So we're gonna line up the corner. I'm gonna hold the elastic with my thumb and forefinger, pull the pin, put the clip on. Go to this corner, line the corner up. Line that corner up, there we go. Hold the elastic, pull the pin, and put the clip in. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sewing over here. I'm going to sew right here. I'm going to go back and forth and really kind of nail that in there. And then I'm going to go around all the way around and come back here and finish sewing right there and go back and forth to really, really kind of secure that uh, thread in so I can flip it. Now, I'm going to leave about a two and a half to three inch opening right here to make it easy to turn inside and out. And when I'm sewing this, I'm going to sew it with a quarter inch seam. All right, so let me show you how we're going to sew this, especially with these elastics on the end. Now, I'm using my quarter inch foot with guide. It is my favorite foot to make sure that I'm getting a quarter inch seam every single time. So I'm going to start about right here. Let's put my needle down. I'm going to sew forward. And remember I said we want to lock those stitches in. So go forward and back to lock those stitches in. You don't want those stitches coming undone whenever you're flipping this. All right, so now here's the hard part that a lot of people seem to um, get a little hung up on. You have this elastic right here with your clip. Take your finger, hold the elastic, and pull the clip away. If the elastic shifts position, sorry, I'm trying to show you. See how just now it shifted position? That's not a problem. Take it and push it back where it's supposed to be. Put the top fabric down and hold it. And then sew your quarter inch seam. Now we're gonna stop a quarter inch from the end and I'm going to turn my fabric and then sew a quarter inch down here. I did not sew any of the elastic in right here. The elastic is actually free there. So I'm sewing a quarter inch down. Now when I get to this end, same exact thing. I'm going to hold, take my clip out, hold my elastic until I get to a quarter inch from the end turn and then sew down and I'm sewing over my elastic at that point. Now this side you want to go all the way down just like I did with the corner over here. You want to take your clip out. Let's make sure that that elastic is where it's supposed to be. Let's sew over it. Stopping a quarter inch from the end. Turning. Coming all the way down. By not sewing off the edges and actually turning on that corner, we're going to make it a little bit stronger. So let's go ahead and stop about a quarter inch from that end. And oops, I need to take that clip out. There we go. I was fixing that elastic. Now I'm going to stop about right here. Remember I said I went two and a half to three inch opening. And let's back this up and lock that thread in. 
There we go. Now at this point, I'm going to trim all of my threads to make sure that they're not gonna get in the way. Oh, look at that little nesting there. That's perfectly fine. We're just gonna trim that away a little bit just so it's not gonna get in our way. And at this point, you wanna trim these corners. And that's just gonna allow for a little bit less bulk whenever you flip it inside out. So let's go ahead and trim those corners. There we are. And let's flip it. If you didn't notice, I've been using some black thread. That way you can see exactly where those lines are as I'm sewing it. So I'm gonna continue that for the other side. Although I recommend, and whenever you do the next sewing step, try to find a thread that's going to blend in and not stand out as much. So let's flip this. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna completely flip this inside out. There we go. Oh, look, and there's our elastic. All right, so let's finish. Now we wanna make sure that all of these corners are popped out all the way. I have nails, so I can easily take care of that. If you don't have nails, please get use a tool, a poker, something that doesn't have very sharp edges, but you're able to get in there and pop those corners. All right, so we've got those corners popped out. Now, we wanna make sure that this opening here is folded in out of our way. You do not want to sew it closed at this point. Just make sure it's folded nicely. And let's iron our face mask. There we go, let's iron that all the way. Beautiful. Now, the next step is to get that face mask in. I'm sorry, not the face. The next step is to get the nose piece in, in our face mask. Oh my gosh, words. So decide which side is going to be the top side and which side is going to be the bottom side. I'm going to choose, you know what? I like this right here. So let's use this as the top. So we're gonna take our floral wire and we're going to measure this. Some people like to put a single bit of floral wire in. I like to double it up a little bit. So I like to have it doubled and whenever you sew it in, make sure you leave about an inch on each side that's going to be open. So that's good right there. All right, so let me cut that. And I'm going to put that in there nicely, just like that. So it's going to go in along the top, right, just like this. So how are we gonna do it? Let's take this and I'm gonna slide this piece of wire just like that, so it's right here. Now I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew just this top line right here to trap this floral wire right into the top. And I'll be right back and show you that stitch. And here we are. Our floral wire is in there. Now remember I said the floral wire needs to be waterproof. We've just trapped this thing in there permanently. So that's perfectly fine. And as you can see, I used that black thread so you can see that stitch there. All right, so now this is going to be our top of our face mask. So keep that in mind. Your floral wire is at the top. Now there's a lot of tutorials that will tell how, show you exactly how to measure and fold and do all this. Honestly, just fold it down, take it, and fold it. I use my finger as a guide. So I put my finger there, and I've got about a finger's length trapped right there. And I'm gonna take my clips and put a clip right there. And then I'm gonna take my clip and put it on the other side. If you wanna measure and you wanna do all that, there's a bunch of cool little tips and tricks and measurements for things. But honestly, the, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it works. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here and do another fold. Now make sure, remember I said, keep an eye on your top and your bottom. So here's my top, here's my bottom. Make sure as you are folding this and putting these clips in that your folds go down. 
So your folds need to face down. This is super, super important because if you have your face mask on wrong, it will not fit right and it won't protect you as well. And let's go ahead and iron this now just to give it a little bit of security. All right, and our last step is we're gonna sew it. I'm still going to use my quarter inch foot width guide because honestly, I just think it looks a lot better to have a nice even stitch. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna start about an inch and a half from the end, somewhere where I've already sewn with my floral wire. And I'm gonna start sewing out. When I reach that corner, remember that quarter inch corner, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna pull out my first clip and then I'm going to turn this. And then we're gonna go down, sewing all the way down with a quarter inch and all the way down until I hit to the end, turn, and sew. Same thing here, we're gonna turn. Let's make sure that elastic doesn't get caught in there. Let's take our clip out. We're using our fingers to hold it. Okay, so we don't want anything to slip. Using our fingers to hold it and then back up to where we started that floral wire. And we're gonna come out a little bit and then let's lock this in. And it's finished. Let's go ahead and trim all of our threads. And that's it. You have your very own face mask with a wire in the top. Now remember, when it's over top of your face, pull this out to cover your entire face. And there you have it. There's your face mask. And that's it. We have our face mask. I think this one's even better than the first one I made. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I know it took 15 minutes to explain how to make a five minute mask, but you know me, I like to explain everything. Remember, make sure the mask fits your face all the way around. You may have to redo it or adjust it if it doesn't. I have some general sizes down below so you have a starting place, but feel free to adjust and change your mask to fit your face. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, follow my YouTube, as well as my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch where you can sew with me live and ask me questions as I'm making stuff. So don't be a stranger. Thank you so much. And let's see if this one fits. Oh yeah. I like this one even better. Oh, this is great. Have a fantastic day.